This is one of the most important things in acting. It is incredibly, incredibly important. And that is what is visceral responses. See, we learn to work with emotions. We're learning to be able to work with feelings and instincts. We're looking to be able to be real in acting, right? We want to be able to have a real experience. This is authentically accurate. We want to be able to have real experience. Well, this comes with this weight. This weight in our acting. And this weight that we end up being able to develop techniques to be able to turn this difficulty into talent. It's called visceral responses. Now, what happens when we go into an emotional preparation or an actor preparation, or we do something to stimulate an emotion or a deep feeling? We, we have this stuff happen to ourselves, right? Now, the key, absolute thing is activation. We're looking to be able to activate our emotion. We want to be able to activate ourselves, our life experiences, our vivid, vivid daydreams, to be able to activate something that's real and authentic and able to be able to, to be utilized in ourselves. So what ends up happening is in the acting processes of technique with emotional preparation, we start having visceral responses, visceral feelings felt. We're, we're talking about like things like numb hands, um, uh, visceral uh, anger shoots from us. Things like this happen because what we've done is we've activated our emotions. We've activated our emotions. Now the absolute key to this is to be able to build these things with visceral responses and be able to hold back in a way that doesn't dissipate or lessen you, but in a way that actually is able to hold those visceral responses, the visceral responses, and to be able to hold off to be able to get them into the acting so they can actually be part of your work. I'm inviting you to to literally utilize me as your secret acting bullet. Ask me some really good questions. See how I answer. And then consider how you can use what you think yourself in what I say consistently so that you can then build out your own acting technique. This is the craft of acting. This is one way that you could describe the craft of acting. The the techniques of which you are learning to be able to, and when I say learning, I'm talking about every, I mean, anywhere from famous people all the way, I've seen it. And I've seen all types of different people, all different walks of life. And it's, it's key. This isn't something that is, is something that's, that's frivolous. This is something that's, that's a muscle that you build in your emotional preparation to be able to Get your visceral responses into your acting. So that's what visceral responses are. Very important. You're going to be going into an emotion of regret or uh, um, denial or um, what else? There's tons of, I got a list of different emotions. And the things are, is that you're able to activate that element. You're able to activate an anger. Well, what happens is when you, when you crack open that thing, that's the activation element of that, of that emotion, you can better believe that in a, just a little bit of time, all of a sudden, there's going to be visceral responses. You're going to have something that's going to happen inside of you that's internal, that wants to be able to be external, which is the point of emotional preparation. So working with these things and understanding what is visceral responses and knowing what to do with them is fantastic for your acting. I mean, almost nothing could be more important because it is the absolute nuts and bolts of actually the, the, the muscle that you're building inside of yourself as an actor 
that then is capable of taking those responses and instead of having them pour out in your emotional preparation before your acting work, you're actually able to kind of guide them enough to be able to have the, the, the wherewithal to get those visceral responses into your acting work, into your imaginary circumstance. So I hope this has been helpful. Ask me questions about this. This is a very, very interested, complicated topic. Um, boop the like button if you would. And seriously, give some thoughts to this topic because this topic is incredible, incredible. You probably take about six months of any normal person's acting career to be able to harness the ability with maybe say 25 or 30 different emotions the ability to be able to stimulate their their visceral response, activate their emotion, which then will result in a visceral response wanting to come up. And that visceral response is something that's like, I mean, sometimes it can be like strong, strong. And then what that is, is that ability to have just that, that calmness that I call it simmering. You simmer your emotional preparation, right? You simmer your, your emotional uh, stimulations. There are these programs that I use that are capable of doing these things like cartooning or like whiteboarding or drawing or sketches of you. So what you can do is you can use those cartoons. Work with the you know, activations, when you invite those feelings in, you get the moment of activation, you get the feeling, you get the expression, some, something comes out of you a little bit extra than just your facial, uh, you know, expression, or there's a little bit extra thing just behind it. And this element, well, then you can work with these things called these cartoon uh, things, these programs, and it, it's the links are in the description and it will actually amplify your emotion a little bit more within your thumbnails. This, this is the, the construct of which then you work and then you just hold on just a little bit until you can get that into your work. Now, one last thing that's vital. You release your visceral response, not by being aggressive with, with what you're feeling. You release your visceral response by relaxing and receiving. Now, if you do that, you are going to be far ahead in your own acting technique. And if you are learning this early on in your acting technique, I'm telling you, you will absolutely, that tip will be able to catapult you forward with your exploration of emotional preparations. Hi. I'm inviting you to actually join me live on the internet. And uh, if you would, you can bring your own emotional preparation. We can work on emotional preparation together and we can really hone down and help build out that talent with inside of you. Now, even if all it is, is you wanna just bring an emotional preparation, do a spoon river, I don't mind. Come, join us and absolutely practice the talent of your own acting. You know, working with talent is not working with somebody else's talent. It's working with the talents that are actually inside of you. So this is the reason why some people will say, well, they want to work with such and such an actor, or they want to work with this actor, because every single time those actors work, they're working from within themselves. They're actually pulling something that's actually real from within themselves, and they're actually putting that into their work. Now, I'm working with all of these different videos and I'm encouraging you to ask me acting questions, not because of me, because I want to see literally massive amounts of creative growth that are now capable because of all, a lot of the different te changes in te technology. This technology that you have to be able to do creations and to be able to do videos and be able to set up studios and places that it would have taken a lot more effort to do in the past is now an opportunity for the next decade, maybe even two, where you can actually be able to, to really be able to work on your craft of acting and be able to have platforms to be able to release the your talent. 
So join me, however you wish to join me, ask me good questions, and understand that your talent is actually something that's locked inside of you, that you need to find the keys to be able to discover. Now look, we're at the end of the video, and I want to be very, very clear. I would be doing you a disservice if I didn't tell you this. This is absolutely key. You, you want to be able to do this work, be very alive, very alert, very deep. You want to work with your emotions. It can be very uh, um, jarring for your emotional life, right? You have all these incredible, incredible experiences. But after you're done working, you need, you absolutely need to learn techniques that get you to not have that being re-stimulated in your life so that you can go and you can live your life. This is part of being a healthy artist, healthy actor. So I encourage you to explore my techniques and various different ways that you can get rid of your emotion after you're done working. You don't need your emotion anymore at that moment to be activated. You just need to be able to be free from it.